Hi guys, I'm Vidya and I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about the toys for the first year of a baby's life. Um, I'm talking about the entire first year and not just the newborn phase and the six months and nine months and so on for two reasons. Um, one, we didn't have a lot of toys uh, when he was that tiny and all of his toys uh, were his favorites and we still play with them only now he's uh, 16 months old and only now he's getting slowly bored of his you know very old toys and he's getting more into the newer toys so i think i'll give away some of his uh, newborn toys now which is another reason i'm making this video i wanted to share all these toys before i give them away the second reason is that um, babies develop differently and they develop different interests at different ages. So if my baby was interested in a rattle for example at 8 months, your baby might like the rattle at 3 months. So there's a different range of development for each baby. So I just wanted to show you the, my favorite toys in the whole first year. So you can pick and choose um, according to your child's development and interests. Before I begin, I'd like to talk a little bit about toy safety and certain measures that we can take before the baby is three years old just to be safe. Um, like for example, we shouldn't buy um, toys with a lot of noises and very bright lights because their ears are still very sensitive and their eyes are very sensitive. So uh, noises that we feel are okay are still too loud for them. So that's one thing to think about. Another thing, very important thing is toys with small parts. So when they are less than three years of age and more importantly, when they are less than one year of age, they like to put everything in their mouths. So when you're buying toys, make sure that all the parts of the toy are bigger than their mouth. So sometimes toys come apart and the pieces can be swallowed and they can be a choking hazard. So um, just make this test when you're, uh, just do this test when you're uh, buying a toy. Uh, no part of the toy should fit inside a tissue paper roll. So if it fits inside a tissue roll, like for example, this block is very nice, but it can fit inside this tissue roll. So it's not safe for um, a baby that's less than 12 months in age and also look for good quality toys like if you're buying plastic toys like um, if you're just buying this make sure that the paint is not chipping off and it is BPA free plastic so even if the baby is in contact with it for a long time the baby is not exposed to harmful chemicals and buy non-toxic toys if possible wooden toys are uh, non-toxic a lot of times but then if you're buying wooden toys be careful that there are no splinters and the wood is uh, smoothly uh, finished make sure that your toys like dolls or stuffed animals don't have any um, eyes or you know plastic parts that can come off if they're chewing on it um, like this puppy has a plastic nose that can come off um, if my son tries to bite it off so i need to keep an eye on this that he's not putting it in his mouth all the time so things like that you should be a little careful with and also toys with a lot of ribbons or strings that are long and thin or cords uh, they can wrap around the baby's neck and they can be a threat um, similarly don't leave any stuffed animals or any toys um, in their sleeping area so in their crib or bed don't leave any toys with them um, because babies don't have complete head control when they are uh, that young and they may uh, pose a suffocation hazard so not to scare you while buying toys but these are a few things that just to keep uh, at the back of your mind when you're picking out toys for your baby first three months uh, of a baby's life is more about bonding with you and it is rightly called the fourth trimester so the first three months are all about making the baby feel secure and safe and close to you so we do things like swaddling and holding and skin to skin time so the number of toys a baby needs in the first three months are in my opinion zero 
and they learn most from uh, interacting with you and uh, you singing to them smiling at them making faces um, just face to face interaction is the best in the first three months and um, because their eyesight is not that well developed uh, people say that you should come a little bit closer to their face not too close but about 8 inches or 12 inches from their face and then interact with them uh, they love it more than any other toy having said that toys do make it more fun and um, Things like rattles are the best at this stage. We did have uh, quite a few rattles uh, that we used just to play with and sing along um, and he loved that. So you can pick rattles with soft noises like this is very soft and he loves these rattles even now and uh, as he's getting older he's finding more um, games to play with these rattles like he bangs them together he you know uh, runs around with them so these are a lot of fun again the first few months are all about uh, stimulating the senses so all five senses of the baby are brand new and they are learning to um, experience the world through these senses so the sense of hearing rattles are great for the sense of sight things like high contrast uh, books or high contrast toys or black and white books and toys are really good uh, because their sense of color hasn't developed yet uh, for example this ball is really good because he can see the little pattern and also uh, toys that do two or three things like this toy is colorful and it has a black and white pattern and it also makes this crinkly sound babies i don't know love this crinkly sound for some reason so these crinkly toys were also another one of his favorites um, this came with the fisher price um, piano gym and we still keep it um, one thing we used a lot in the beginning was a play gym or a play mat. We had a few of those uh, but his favorite one was the Fisher Price kick and play play gym. Um, we used to love that right from when he was born we used it. Uh, so it basically has a piano like this at the end where um, the baby kicks a lot. So when they kick their feet the, it hits the piano and it makes a nice uh, music. We just have the piano left because he still likes to play with it but right now he likes to put it on the floor and jump on top of it uh, to make music so we love this and uh, we had a few of these play gyms um, some of them were good for tummy time we also used a crib mobile in the beginning he used to love looking at it we had this one by fisher price and it had a projector uh, that would project little uh, pictures of animals on a screen I'll leave a link in the description box but it was really good and he still loves it if we let him he'll still play with it um, but uh, a crib mobile is good in the beginning because they spend a lot of time in their beds and uh, uh, their uh, vision is not their focus is not that good for far away objects so a crib mobile is kind of close to their face so they can still see those images and um, they have a lot of fun looking at it also when Vikrant was a baby I noticed that he was fascinated with uh, pictures or images so I kind of um, encouraged that by showing him a lot of books and from a very young age from I think about two months or so we would um, read a lot like I would read to him a lot and he would love looking at the pictures in the books. Um, I still have some of his favorite books uh, and he likes to read them now also. This was his first book ever. This is a nice soft book. Um, it's got very simple pictures but very bright and colorful. And you don't have to uh, show them like fairy tales or anything in the beginning because they don't understand all those words but they love seeing um, you know bright colorful things and just listening to your voice uh, when you talk to them so this is just a story about a, a teddy bear that goes about its day and eats food and takes a bath and brushes teeth and goes to bed very simple things like that um, but he used to absolutely love this book it's completely washable so that's another nice thing to have so even if the baby chews on it um, it is you know easy to clean this book we got uh, at the hospital 
uh, and this is a high contrast book it's just pictures of everyday things um, and they're all black and white so very nice for the baby to look at when they're uh, zero to three months so that's a favorite of his and um, another absolute favorite of his is this book um, and I still read it to him every single day, almost every single day and he always reaches for this. Um, it's the bright colorful pictures. This is by Dr. Seuss. It's called Oh The Things You Can Think. I'll leave the links to all the toys and things that I've mentioned uh, in the description box. But uh, even if you don't buy the exact same things, look for uh, things that stimulate your baby's senses in the first few months. And um, once they're six months old, they start uh, sitting up, they start crawling, they start to stand up and they start walking. So a lot of physical development uh, goes on in the six to 12 month period. So one of my favorite toys for this phase was an activity table. This is just uh, something I found on first cry and um, it's you know bright and colorful. You push buttons, there are lots of sounds and um, things to look at. So he loved pulling up and standing with the help of this activity table uh, and when Vikrant was 9 or 10 months old he started showing a lot of interest in uh, taking steps uh, by holding furniture so uh, at that stage this walker was a great uh, toy this was a gift but we loved it he still loves playing with it um, so it's not a traditional walker where you have to put the baby in and there are wheels all around. It does have wheels but you can kind of control the uh, speed, adjust the uh, speed. But uh, the baby can stand up uh, using this handle and kind of push it around at their own pace. So it also uh, like it helps in walking by giving them something to hold on to. So it's a really great toy and the top part comes off so you can take this off and give them to play if they don't want to walk around. We also got Vikrant some teething toys to help with teething like Sophie the giraffe is like the world famous teething toy. I can see why it's very conveniently made and it's non-toxic so it's a good teething toy. But Vikrant didn't really chew on it. He would like to just uh, squeeze it and make the sound and just hold on to it because it's got a nice texture. So if your baby uh, likes chewing on things, this is a good thing to have, I think. For uh, stuffed toys or stuffed animals, we didn't have a lot of them in the beginning because Vikrant didn't show any interest in them. But when he was 9 or 10 months old, uh, he got this owl and uh, he completely fell in love with it. Even now, he's obsessed with it. We have a few stuffed animals now, but Owly is his favorite. Um, and I think it's a nice way for him to uh, kind of bond with something else and get some um, comfort from something that's other than you. Uh, it's very cuddly and soft and um, I like them. And lastly, food play. Uh, I know we are just talking about toys here, but uh, playing with food was a major thing for us. Once uh, Vikrant turned um, six months and we started introducing solids for him. Um, at every meal I would give him some colorful foods like boiled carrots or bananas, some things that he can hold and mash and feel the texture just to play with no pressure uh, none of it went in his mouth in the first two months all of it ended up on the floor but that's okay uh, he got to have a sense of what food actually felt like and now he's a pretty good eater he loves uh, feeding himself uh, he likes to actually enjoy the food on his own um, so i think an early start in you know exposing them to different foods is uh, is a good thing so i hope you found this video useful and you were able to take away some tips and hopefully i haven't rambled too much and um, a series of videos on this topic that you might enjoy are by roly from rgv love uh, i leave a link to those in the description box but do check those out they're very interesting and yes i hope uh, 2018 is treating you well and i'll see you in one of my next videos until then you take care bye